Hi friends, so I'm going to share two books with you today on light and shadow on Epic. I'm going to share my screen and here we go. Playing with Light and Shadows by Jennifer Boutroyd. Light and Shadows. Light is all around us. Light falls on the objects that we see. See him looking at the butterfly on the pretty flower? What is that dark shape on the ground? It is a shadow. We see shadows on the ground on a sunny day when we're at Purple Playground, right? A shadow forms where light is blocked. Look at these soccer players and then there's their shadows. Some materials are opaque. They block all the light that hits them. So that means opaque means they're completely solid. See how the ball is making a shadow on the ground on the water? Shadows form behind opaque objects. So here's the tire swing and then here it is. Okay, the swing has a shadow. Some materials are translucent. That means you can see through them. See how we can see through the glasses and we see all the spots on the glasses in the shadow. Translucent objects make shadows. They block some light, but some light passes through. So see, we see some of the light, but it also makes a shadow. A transparent material lets all light pass through. No shadows form. You see? So we see the frame of the glass, but we don't see the inside, right? It doesn't make a shadow because it's see-through. And see, here's a glass window. So we see the panes that make up the building of the window, but the glass part just has no shadow, right? The window frame makes a shadow and the glass does not. Changing shadows. A shadow is shaped like the object that blocks the light. So see this backboard of the basketball hoop has the same shape in the shadow. And see, here's a row of mailboxes out in the country. And you see they're bigger the closer you are. And then the further away you are, the shadows get smaller. Shad but shadows also change in size during the day. The higher the sun, the bigger the shadow. In the morning, the shadows are long and big. And that's when the sun is the highest, right? And at noon, the shadows are very short. In the evening, the shadows are long again. Look, you can make shadows. You see her hand behind that big leaf? Shadows stand outside in the sun. You see how the boys are standing here and they see their shadows? And then you can make shadow puppets with your hand. What animal is that, friends? It's a rabbit. How else can you block the light? What is she doing here? She's got an umbrella. So let's look at our words again. Opaque means not letting any light through. Shadow is a dark area made when light is blocked. Translucent means letting some light through and transparent means letting all the light through. Wow, we learned a lot of new words today, friends. Now we're gonna read another book that says light makes colors. Oops, and unfortunately we are at the end of the book. Let's go back to the beginning. Sorry about that, friends. Okay, Light Makes Colors by Jennifer Boutroyd. Again, light has color. Light makes colors we see. White light comes from the sun. You see, look at that white light from the sun. Like in the morning when you wake up and you see that bright light. White light also comes from light bulbs. You see that white light from the light bulb? And white light is made of many different colors. Light has seven main colors. Let's see, red, orange, yellow, blue, or green, indigo, and violet. We see some of light's colors in these sharpened pencils. And light reflects off of an object. Look at this, we see all these different shirts in different colors. Our eyes catch the reflected light. This is how we see. Objects reflect only some of the light rays. This is how we see color. The ball looks red only if red light reflects off of it. 
the shirt is white. All the colors are reflecting. When all the colors are reflecting, it's white. The dog looks black. None of the colors are reflecting. A prism separates light and colors. Do you see that glass thing here? That's a prism. Prisms are glass or plastic. A ray of light moves through the prism. Whoops. The prism bends the light and it separates the colors. It's amazing what light can do, right friends? A rainbow is bent sunlight. You see that? A rainbow shows many colors. And here, water in the air reflects the sunlight. Like when you spray a hose or you go to the playground and the sprinklers in the summertime, sometimes you can see colors through the, the water, right? The light bends, the colors separate. You see, when the light bends, now we see all of our rainbow colors in these lights right here. Light makes colors all around us. What colors do you see in these candies? I see green and red and yellow and blue over here and pink and those bananas, they're yellow, right? So let's look at our words we just learned. Colors are parts of light that we see, including red, green, and blue. A prism is an object that separates light into colors. A rainbow is a curve of colored light in the sky. And rays are beams of light. Reflects means bounces. Okay, friends, I'm gonna stop this share. And what, what cool two books that we just read on Epic. I am so excited to read more and learn more about life this, this month. All right, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.